everybody. Welcome. We Welcome to Spartan Spotlight. I'm Kayla. And I'm Pa. We've got some exciting stories to send you off into the break, so let's begin. Not only do we start break tomorrow, but also we have some big holidays like the apocalypse and Christmas coming up. Kwanzaa is also on the 26th. Winter solstice starts tomorrow, and it's going to be the shortest day of the year. And according to the Mayan calendar, the apocalypse is supposed to happen today. Whoa. No, we're just kidding. But we don't know when it's gonna happen, so be prepared. Lucky for me, I just finished my apocalyptic bunker yesterday. Can I come over? Um, only if you change. Oh, okay. Well, if it does happen, be prepared. But if not, we return back to school on January 2nd. What are some traditions you would have over break? All I do is sit around and eat bacon. Neat! I have a gingerbread man fetish. Emily went to go check out some traditions around Simley. As many of you know, we have a diverse group of students here at Simley. I went to go find out some different ways that students celebrate the holidays. There are many interesting things students and their families do for fun during the holidays. For the holidays, me and my family get together with a couple friends of ours and we watch movies for a whole day, which is kind of fun. Every Christmas Eve, my family eats lutefisk, and if you don't know what that is, it's cod soaked in lye, but it's okay to eat because it's then boiled in water. Some other students with different cultural backgrounds described how they and the countries they are from celebrate the holidays. Christmas, I, me and my mom like decorate a tree. We don't really buy each other presents. She just like takes me places like Disney and New York and stuff. In Colombia, we like, uh, since there's no snow there, we pretty much just totally focus on decorations and so we'll like decorate everything and like you know here the colors are green and uh, red and over there it's like gold so everything just covered with like gold streamers and stuff and then the neighborhood always has a contest of who has like the best tree and we win so for my christmas i usually go to uh aunt or uncle's house and we celebrate christmas and we eat food and everything usually we do our new year's late november and another one in around this time in Thailand and Laos, they didn't really celebrate Christmas at all. It was just the New Year's. My family picked it up when they came over. I hope you enjoyed learning about all the different holiday traditions here at Simley. This has been Emily Earhart reporting for Spartan Spotlight. Thanks, Emily. I have newfound love for holidays. How much work do you think goes into these gorgeous yearbooks? Um, I can only imagine the blood, sweat, and tears. Nadie Bear and Bree went to go check out Miss Kaywood and all her elves hard at work. Is it hard to make a yearbook? Why don't we just ask? Nathan and I went to talk to Morgan, Kelsey Stout, Kelsey Torseth, and Miss Kaywood to find out more about what goes into the yearbook. Hi, I'm Morgan Weinberg. I'm one of the editors in the yearbook this year. Uh, we're working really hard on just trying to make it a lot better. I'm Kelsey Stout, and I'm Kelsey Torseth. And we are the editors of the yearbook this year. Everybody on the yearbook committee is really excited to see the finished product. This year's yearbook is going to be super duper cool. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be way better than last year's. And the year before that, and the year before that, because we're doing something a little different with it this year. And hopefully it's going to turn out good, but it should be pretty awesome. So you should buy one. Because chances are, if you think you're not in there, you're actually in there. So get one. You'll be in there more than once. We almost guarantee it. It's really different this year, and it's going to be a lot more personal. It's going to be more geared toward each, toward each individual student. This yearbook is in calendar form and highlights each month and the activities that happen during it. We've kind of started off with the summer, and we're working our way through the fall. We just finished up the fall section, and we're starting on the winter with the winter sports, and then we'll go into spring. Not everyone fully understands or even appreciates how much work truly goes into the yearbooks. We work really hard on it, and it's good when people buy them because it's a very difficult thing to do to put together a whole entire yearbook. So 
We hope you enjoy it. I really enjoyed learning about the yearbooks, and I hope you did too. I'm Bree Chaka. And I'm Nathan Wagliner, reporting for the Spartan Spotlight. Thanks, Nate and Bree. Can't wait to smell all the new pages in the 2013 yearbook. And that's a wrap for Spotlight this week. Make sure you check out bloopers and web extras on SpartanSpotlight.com. Follow us on Twitter and like our Facebook page. But before we go, Kayla, I got you a present. Oh, thanks, Paul. Of course. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Hope you had a great Hanukkah. Have a terrific Kwanzaa. And have a Happy New Year. I'm Pai Yang. I'm Kayla LaVoy. Happy, Happy Holidays, Holiday, Simley!